Well, uh, there are sure. two women who have summited, two women from Iran who have summited Everest. And I believe that there's another Indonesian woman who's done it since, and I can't find my notes on that one. But the two uh, Iranian women, though, are, are uh, documented well. And also we have uh, um, one woman who was a Nobel Peace Prize winner. As we've not yet had a female head of state in the United States, there have been six in Muslim countries, uh, Turkey, Bangladesh, Pakistan, and uh, one of the stands, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan. Um, anyway, an one Eastern Bloc country. Yes. Yes. An, an Eastern Bloc country. Mm -hmm. um, among those four areas, there have been six women uh, who are heads of state. So, you know, we, we see that women are indeed, you know, really moving along. There are women who are uh, high up in the government in almost every single Muslim, if not every Muslim country, including Saudi Arabia, which many people look at as you know, maybe the most conservative of countries, there are women in leadership uh, head department heads over there. So we've got uh, Ingrid Madsen, who is coming to Tulsa, and she was the president of one of the largest Islamic associations, the Islamic so uh, Society of North America, yes. for two terms. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is, uh, you know, one of the highest Islamic advocacy organizations in terms of education and then conventions and stuff like that. Uh, she was in the highest position here in the United States, a, a Muslim woman. Elected by Muslims, yeah, men and women. Right. Mm -hmm. And also the head of the Muslim Student Association of North America or of the United States was also Muslim, was a woman. Many of the mosques we have in the United States have uh, uh, presidents that, that, that are also uh, females. Uh, Dr. Ingram, um, uh, no, uh, the Islamic Society of North America manages mm -hmm. probably 95 percent of the mosque in the United States. So that's a huge, massive organization, probably one of the oldest organization uh, that, that exists in the United States. And, and uh, that's basically a, an endorsement for all Muslims around the United States uh, to elect a female to be the president of that organization. Can yeah, I clarify something, just because I get this question so often. <laughs> when he's saying manages, he means that mosques choose to associate with Islamic Society of North America, okay? There's no hierarchy in Sunni Islam, the main, mainstream Islam, um, that ISNA, Islamic Society of North America, can't dictate to us who our leaders are, what our policies are, but we choose to affiliate yeah. with them because of the values that they espouse and the practices they help us develop. Thank you. Good okay. point, good point. <laughs> and let's talk about here in Tulsa, we have the Peace Academy. Are there women in leadership here in Tulsa? <laughs> <laughs> whoops, yeah. whoops, yeah. Yeah. guilty yeah. as charged. <laughs> yeah, actually the uh, vice principal, I believe, this year, um, Sister Mona. Oh, is, yes, a, uh, a, is a principal, vice principal Very over good. there at Peace Academy at the Islamic Society of Tulsa when we have our board elections every two years. They're dem it's a democratic process mm -hmm. and uh, we always have women that are elected to uh, govern the mosque. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, there's a balance there, men and women running the mm -hmm. organization. Right.